30 minute workouts, 20 minute recipes, 10 minute mindfulness. Ready to become? Get filled on the App Store or Google Play. Hi everyone, it's Joanna here. Today's workout is going to be a 15 minute app challenge. We want to work on the overall apps as well as your deep core muscles. So let's get a strong and toned meat section. Let's do it. There will be a total of four circuits. Each workout will be for 30 seconds long with 15 seconds break in between, okay? So before we start, let's do a little bit of warm up for the core. Let's get into a plank position. And I want you to push your butt up into a downward dog just to stretch your entire body out and also to start to activate your core muscles. So plank and push into a downward facing dog. Good. Few more. High plank. And push. Okay, now what I want to do is cross over and try to reach for your ankles. Cross, tap, back into a high plank, tap, and back into a high plank. So throughout this movement, I want you to really be conscious of your abs, your core muscles, and really suck and tighten your belly. Cross, reach, and cross. Good. Give me a few more. High plank. Remember, do not pike your butt up. Flat back, cross, and cross. And now just slowly lower your body down and get into a cobra and just stretch it out. Good. Push into the floor and take a moment to just stretch it out. All right, okay, are we ready? So the first circuit is going to work on your overall abs, upper, lower, as well as your obliques. The first exercise is going to be a big movement, okay? So what I'm going to do is lie flat onto your mat. It's going to be a full sit up with a Russian twist. So extend your arms all the way, crunch up, twist to the side, down, up, and twist. So it's very important that you twist your body and lift your knees up. Good. All the way, crunch, extend, and up. Look the opposite side and breathe out as you come up. Remember to slowly lower your body back down. So do not just collapse, engage your core muscles, lower yourself back down and crunch. Good. Remember to twist, tap the floor, look the opposite side. Very good. Okay, next is my favorite knee tucks, all right? So place both palms onto the floor with your fingers pointed forward. Straighten your legs. All I want to do is drive your knees in, extend it out, in, extend it out, and in. Good. So crunch and extend. Drive your knee close to your chest. There you go. Nice and controlled movement. And remember to breathe out as you crunch in. Good job. Take your breathing. Breathe out, breathe in, out and in. And drop back down. Okay, we want to repeat the entire circuit once more. So remember, full sit up with a Russian twist, okay? Arms and feet both extended out. Ready, crunch in, tap, back down, crunch up, twist, and down. So tap and look the opposite side. And remember, control. Control the movement. One step at a time. You should feel your core burning. Upper abs, lower abs, as well as your obliques. Twist. Give me one more. Twist. Good job. Woo! Abs on fire. Okay, now let's do knee tucks, okay? So remember, your hands are just helping you to support your upper body. The work should be coming from your core. Let's go. In, extend out. Breathe out. Good job. Drive it in. Drive it in. If this is too tough, 
what you can do is tap, rest for a while, crunch it in, extend, crunch, and extend. Keep going. That's 10 more seconds. Crunch. Wake the abs up. Let's tone up on our waistline. Very good job. Okay, now let's move into the second circuit. For the second circuit, we want to work on the deep core muscles. We want to be working on planks, okay? Small movements, but it's gonna really hit the deep core muscles and it's gonna really help you with your posture as well as balance. So the first workout is going to be a plank knee tap. So get into a plank position, straight line. I want you to drop your knees, tap gently and come back up. So it's just a slight tap and back up. And this is to create the imbalance and for you to activate your core even more. So small tap, do not rest. It's just a small tap, up and down. So gaze gently onto the floor, keep a neutral position. Tap, up and up. Good job. Okay, all right. Still in a plank position, we want to work on rocking plank as well as plank hip dip, okay? So get into a plank position. We want to rock forward and back twice and then dip your hips to the side twice, okay? Forward and back, engage your core and work on your obliques as you dip your hips forward and back and now dip. Remember, do not pike your butt up or dip your hips, okay? Maintain a straight line. All right, good job. Take a short break. If you want to, you can get into a child's pose and slowly come back up. Are we ready for plank knee taps? Get into a plank position. Strong core, let's go tap. Double knees, tap. Good. Control up. There you go. Nice and controlled. Small movement. Suck your belly in, engage your core, and tap. Remember to breathe, okay? Do not hold your breath. It's not going to help. Breathe, tap, tap, and tap. Good job, there you go. Keep going. And just drop your knees, rest it out. All right, one final plank, okay? And we will move on to the third circuit. Let's keep our plank strong. Let's go. Strong plank, rock forward and back twice. Hip dips, left and right. Good. Forward and back and dip to the side. Maintain a straight line. Do not arch your lower back. Stay strong, stay with me. Do not pike your butt up. Last few more. Dip, 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 and good job. All right. Oh, do you feel the burn right here? That's what we want, okay? All right. The third circuit is going to focus on your oblique muscles. So, the side muscles, okay? The one that we want to work on to get that 11 line. So the first workout is going to be a rainbow leg raise. Imagine that there's a middle line. There's a line in the middle. What I'm going to do is cross over the line from left to right, okay? So drive both legs to the left and to the right as though you're drawing a rainbow. Left and right, left and right, good. And remember that your arms are just supporting your upper body. So the work should be on your obliques. Good job, keep going and drop down. Okay, now let's get into a side plank crunch, all right? So stay on your elbows, lift your hips off the floor, hands by your head, get into a crunch, extend it out, crunch, and extend it out. If this is too difficult, what you can do is just start on your knees, 
Extend, crunch, extend, crunch, and extend, okay? So choose your option. What is most important is that you don't dip your hips. Lift it up, and get your lower, your side, abs, crunch, extend, crunch, and extend, okay? Just working on one side, and we will change on the second round. Good job, okay. Rainbow leg raises. Love it or hate it, it's really good for your obliques. All right, so just support your upper body. Bend your elbow slightly. Let's go from left to the right. Draw a nice big rainbow, okay? Nice. I want to see a big and colorful rainbow. Let's keep going. Left and right, left and right. Feel the work on your waistline. Extend, extend your legs, point your toes to the side and good job. Okay, now let's work on the opposite side, okay? So change the other way. Get into a side plank. I'm gonna do the advanced version, okay? So keep your legs straight at the bottom. Extend your arms, crunch it in. Extend it out, crunch, extend, and crunch. So again, I don't want you to rush through the movement. I want you to find your balance. Try to drive your knees to your elbows, crunch it in, extend point, and crunch. Don't rush, keep it steady. And keep crunching, and drop back down okay for the final circuit we want to end with a little bit of cardio abs exercises this is to really get your heart rate up and to burn fat from the mid section okay so let's start with mountain climbers and the second workout will be plank jacks so start in a high plank position it's going to really drive your heart rate up i want you to drive your knees in towards your chest, okay? Knees in towards your chest, and if you want to, you can pick up the pace and get into a run. Keep going, really push your palms into the ground and drive your knees in, and pace your breathing. Strong core, let's bring your heart rate up, and just dropped. All right. Woo. Oh, I can feel my heart rate increasing. I'm breaking a sweat. Let's keep going. Okay. So the second abs cardio workout is going to be a plank jacks. Start in a high plank position. Jack in and jack out. Okay. Out and in. Again, remember it is not this. Okay. This is wrong. Flat back. Jack in and jack out. Strong arms. Keep your posture stable. Brace your core. And in and out. Good job. Keep going. A few more seconds. And rest it out. All right, so you know the drill. Let's repeat those two exercises again. Whew. Take a breath, let's go. Get into a high plank. Let's start with mountain climbing, okay? Find your rhythm. Either challenge yourself and get into a running mountain climber or take it a notch down and just drive your knees in towards your chest, okay? Only 30 seconds, guys. We are strong. And this is your final round. So stay with me. Keep going, keep running, run to the finish line. Let's go and drop oh my gosh all right one final workout plank jacks let's do this remember to push your arms away from the floor okay let's go high plank jack in and out flat back raise your core 20 seconds to the finish line Let's go. Work on your core. Tone up on the mid 
section. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Well done. High five. I know that your abs is on fire right now. You're feeling tired, but extremely strong, okay? All right, let's just take this moment to just bring our heart rate down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and out. Okay, guys, very, very, very well done. I want you to continue doing this 15 minute ab challenge for at least two to three times weekly for four weeks, okay? In order to see results, you have to be consistent in your workouts and repeat the workouts. Do combine this app challenge with my total body strength training as well as total body heat workouts. You can also end each workout session with this 15 minutes app challenge, okay? So be sure to give this video lots of thumbs up, do subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to also check out a lot more workout videos, workout plans, meal plans, as well as nutritional tips to get you through your fitness journey. And I will see you next time. All the best.